Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to Home Sweet Home. I am playing on my Oculus Rift by way of Steam VR. So my first impressions of this one were just kind of meh. It seemed not bad, but not great either. Uh, it didn't seem like it was going to live up to the hype that it was given by the PSVR community. It seemed destined for mediocrity, but last time I was in here, not so bad. Some real tension was built. We had a few scares. The story changed. The scenery changed. And I came away hopeful that this thing might actually turn out to be good after all. So let's jump in for another look and see what we can find. Of course, we're going to continue. And as always, always, VR mode, of course. What are we doing here? My name is not Lethal Weasel Flat Gamer. It's Lethal Weasel VR. And here we are. Back in the seedy underbelly of this building. The bowels of the building, if you will. So last time... We got chased down the hall by that missing college student. Where's my flashlight? There we go. We got chased down the hall by that missing college student. Made our way into a crawl space and came out in another world in another time. It was, it was years later and I was in a nice... Name? Is that you? Okay. Sounds not coming far from here. Oh, no kidding, dude. Sounds like it was right around the corner. Anyway, we found ourselves in a nice house. Found out my name was Tim, and that I was a faceless man, and that my best friend's name is Dew. It was some many years later, after the events of the missing college student, and my girlfriend Jane was hearing voices in her head and having strange nightmares and all sorts of paranormal activity was going on in her house. This I found by reading her diary. So I ended up crawling back into the closet from which I came out and found myself <coughs> back in this crawl space with all this black mold again. I don't know which way is the right way to go. Kind of sucks being in a crawl space because I can't run. So I just have to slowly mosey my way from side to side here and see what I can see. The way is blocked. None shall pass. I'm going to go this way just because I don't want to walk all the way back down there. Okay. There's some of the yarn. The strange yarn was in that house I was just speaking of. It seemed to... Uh... Okay, we a clue, a clue. It's a picture of a knife. Wow. Well, that should come in handy. Maybe I can paper cut this girl if she comes back in here after me with that box cutter. Description. It's a picture of an unusual looking knife. How helpful. So our clue went into our handy dandy notebook. Our objective is to find Jane. She might be here. We have a rolled metal amulet, which makes us attractive according to the description. We have collected some items, I guess, along the way. And we have diary pages that I can reread, I guess, if I want to try to piece this thing together. Oh, 
I saw some pebbles fall from up here like there was something up there. Oh crap, what was that? That did not look like our girl. That looked like pure evil. And once again, the, the sound. Stellar. Exemplary. Very good. They don't bog you down with music throughout the entire game. But only during times of tension do you hear it. And they use the music and sound effects to build the attention really well. That's probably the one thing that they've done better than any other so far. Is the sound design is primo. Okay. And these par particle effects are very impressive too. I'm always impressed by this stuff in VR. But I imagine it must be annoying when you're playing the flat version that just looks like a bunch of crap on your screen. But Walking through it in the headset. It's a different experience. Okay, so we're getting ready to make our way back into some kind of structure. I don't know if it will be the school the house or yet some other to be determined location it looks like the school judging by all of this mold on the walls and floor so we can see the uh, yarn now coming down from the ceiling I'm sure that has some sort of significance in the game these books look like they're somehow tied to eastern mysticism strange pictures on the wall just utter filth everywhere Oh, I found two ways. We have stairs that lead to a door, and we have yet another crawl space. Are you in there, Harry Potter? Uh, it's not interactive. I'm tempted to peek my head in there. There might be something in there that's going to jump out at me, and... I'd like the heads up. Oh, it won't let me do it. Sometimes it lets you peek through walls and other times it does not. I tried to save you, Harry. If I see Hagrid, I'll send him this way. There's something about an old wooden creepy staircase with an old door at the top of it that just makes you feel uneasy. Huh. Some sort of attic, loft. Are those the wise masters? These guys look chewed up, man. Look at this. Haggard. Some dogs howling at something. Can we see? Well done. Stick your head out the window and the dogs get louder. That's the way it should be. Well done. Anyway, I wonder what the uh, Thai word for haggard is. Because these are some haggard people. Let 
more haggard than George Harrison. And that's saying something. Jane's diary. So, I thought we were in the school, but we're finding pages of Jane's diary at the school. May 2nd, 2013. That was not better. I was, I was sure I fell into a deep sleep. Then why on earth was I in that old wooden house? And what was it with that shadow creeping outside? I've never seen anything like that gigantic before. I was able to get myself out of that nightmare, back to my bedroom. What is happening to me? So it seems like Jane was here. This is old and wooden. It's about as wooden as it gets. So this is the door we came from, right? And it's locked, of course. We're going to continue to look over this room before we go into the next one. Looks like two people were here. And they were obviously raised in a barn. They don't know how to take their dishes to the sink. I think my kids were here. Obviously, my kids were here. Because they also do not know how to take their dishes to the sink. If you guys ever watch this, pause it right now and take your dishes to the sink. Alright, so there's a lock. Looks like we have a crawl space here, or access to a room downstairs. It's a combination lock. I know I have to go into that next room and find the combination, but just for shits and giggles, this is an evil game. Yep. Too obvious, right? Sometimes the most obvious solution is the last thing you think of. Not today. This door will not let us pass. I don't think this room has any other secrets that I can see. the bedroom so I guess this is a Thai bedroom this is what they look like in Thailand I think I saw something like this on Dateline once group photography and who the hell are these dudes obviously they're up to no good I bet they all ride on that one motorcycle together, too. A photograph of a group of teenagers. I would say that that group of teenagers has something to do with the missing college student, but we seem to be in Jane's timeline right now, so I don't know. I look in this thing. No. Alright, so here it is. We have the three squares. This is telling me that this is my combination for the lock, right? Three colors. White, pink, blue. So if we count the white, that'll be our first number. Count the pink, that'll be our second number. Count the blue, that's our third number. So, white first. We have one, two, three. First digit three. Then pink. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, six. And then blue. One, two, three, four, five. Three, six, five. Three, 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 six, 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 five, 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 five. That's what we call an Easter egg, folks. Hmm. 
Hmm, so let's go try it out. Three, 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 three. Six, 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 six. Five, 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 five. Ba boom. Just like that. Can't keep a good man down. Let's make sure we're not leaving anything else. Jane's keys got by us on the first search. Because I was not thorough enough. Oh, there's some more yarn tying everything together. All right, well, I don't see anything else. So let's see what's down below. Another staircase. Oh, it's a cell. Secret cell. Oh, we're outside. This is no secret at all. This is under the porch. This is what lattice looks like in Thailand. I was thinking that might be another piece of a photograph, but it doesn't seem to be anything. So we come outside and this crap's still floating around in the air. Hmm. I feel like one of those antique pickers underneath somebody's porch out here. Looking through all their junk. Trying to find rusty gold. Keep hearing noises. Bumps and thumps. Like there's someone upstairs or around me here. Does this water work? It does not. There's a door. Can I open the door? I cannot. Kettles, bottles, and plates. Reminiscent of Here They Lie. Rusty tin. So far I see nothing, folks. Except for it looks like somebody's living under the porch. For real, it looks like somebody's been living under the porch. And I'm in the kitchen right now. Right, that shadow thing is in there. Oh, there's more than one. Look. They're peeking at me. That is creepy as hell. Okay, to answer your question, Justin, no, it's not just a screaming Asian lady. Looks like we have burned children as well. Are they not going to attack me? No. They're going to hide. I hesitate to stick my face in here. Are they in the jars? They're gone. They're either in those jars or they're gone. And that was creepy as hell. Okay, so I guess the developers brought me down here just to show me that. Okay, back up we go. Very similar room. 
almost identical, to be honest. So close it's kind of freaky. Down to the table and the plates on the table are exactly in the same spot. Only here... The Yazatun police radio station reports that the chief policeman has planned to arrest all the speeding bikers on Yazatun State Highway. The police claim to have captured more than 10 bikers so far, but some fled the scene, which includes Mr. Pichai Manapebu, a suspect from the motorcycle robbery and believed to be the leader of this gang. We'll keep you posted when we receive further notices on this. This is Cecil Fungsawak reporting. Huh. So we had a news report about a Thai motorcycle gang, most of which were captured by the police, but there were others who were not. I hope this game does a good job of tying all these different pieces together for me because I don't know how any of this stuff ties together other than with red yarn. We've got what well, seems to be three separate storylines here. And I can try to speculate. Alright, so we're definitely in the upside down here. Holy <laughs> yeah, man. The Yazatun police radio station reports that the chief policeman has planned to arrest all the speeding bikers on Yazatun State Highway. The police claim to have captured more than 10 bikers so far, but some fled the scene, which includes Mr. Pichai and a people, a suspect from the motorcycle robbery and believed to be the leader of this gang. We'll keep you posted when we receive further notices on this. This is Cecil Fungsawak reporting. So it was a robbery. That's why those bikers were speeding. They robbed someone. So here we have a whole other section of the old wooden house that just appeared when we had our back turned. More of these snake ropes, some more empty plates. And what is this? What was that? I feel like somebody slammed a door behind me. No one here. Alright, so we have this big pillar in the center of this house that has a bunch of stuff tied to it, nailed to it, hanging from it. Oil dripped pillar. In ancient times, large trees are used as pillars when building a house. When the wooden pillar leaks sap, people believe that these oil drip pillars have a spirit has a spirit that lives inside the tree before it was cut down. If the tree's spirit is disrespected, misfortunes will happen. Modern science has proven that these oil drip pillars are a characteristic of a certain type of trees, such as trees that are used for making rubber. Taikian tree, Taikian tree, Opia odorata, green bamboo, Tang, uh, what? Tangent wood, tang wood, tangent wood, balo, Sharia, obtusa, etc. So what are we supposed to take from this? I think that we're supposed to take away that if the tree spirit is disrespected, misfortunes will happen. So is that what we're dealing with here? Angry tree spirit. 
Come on, man. How do you make an angry tree spirit happy? Wish I had some idea what I'm looking at here. No clue. Right, I think we're done with this room. Once again, we have two ways. Or at least the illusion of two ways. Yarn everywhere, tying it all together, of course. And the yarn seems to be tied to the tree. All of the lines of yarn seem to come back to this tree. So is this the tree spirit feeling disrespected? Oh look. There's burnt people down here eating from their bites off the floor. Sound hungry. They look downright evil. Hmm. They look like they got burnt up. But maybe it's just evil turning their skin black. Or maybe it's the sap from the tree. Another bedroom there. Another newspaper here. Oh, what the hell, man? I didn't mean to... Alright, here we go. 2002. So this seems to be... Let's see. The college student was in the 90s, like 1996, 97, and Jane's timeline is 2013-ish, so this seems to be in between here, March 9th, 2002, vile thieves, old woman robbed and beaten, neighbors reported a fight the night before. It was reported to the police that Miss Chinda Manapalboon, 60, was badly wounded and found unconscious. She was taken to the hospital before the police arrived on the scene. Investigators revealed that there may have been more than three people that inflicted such a brutal beating. Her son, Mr. Pishal Manapalboon, is believed to be the one leading the robbery. So she was robbed by her son so I assume that her son was the one from the uh, biker gang that got away from the police perhaps this is her home this old wooden house Crap. <laughs> Fuck. I want to go check this bedroom out. Sorry I made fun of you, old tree spirit. Good lord. So what is this room just here for misdirection? Surely not. Not at all. This game is starting to get crazy. Shit!
You know, the games get me when crap like that makes me jump. Oh. Give me just a second, people, while I swallow my throat back. Swallow my heart back down my throat. Goodness. Holy shit. Okay. I guess the only place we can go over here is where the giant hand just tried to kill us. I'd probably feel a little better if it were a normal hand. It wasn't a normal hand, though, was it? It was an evil-looking hand. Like it was one of those hands that were on the uh, boss in uh, Rush of Blood. Remember the the big hands we had to shoot his hands maybe he's come back for revenge this game is just a ploy to get me in all right can we interact with both doors we can do that one and we cannot this one so once again we have the illusion of choice but one way to go Colorful motorcycle parts. Uh, if I had to guess, this was the son's room. It's a little obvious. Racing jacket, motorcycle wheels, motorcycle parts. Just a couple of loose engines lying around on the ground. Oil, I assume that's what that is. Gigantic five gallon bottle of motor oil. It's something that I don't get. You see this a lot in VR games too. It doesn't necessarily bother me, I just don't understand it. It's that sometimes the scale is so off on things, they make things so big. doesn't bother me it just it's weird <laughs> I mean it has to be intense all right so here's what I don't like about this this is just a bare porch but this is a dead end this absolutely 100% has to be the way that I'm supposed to go so either I'm gonna go out on this porch and something's gonna happen I'm going to go out on this porch and nothing's going to happen. And I'm going to turn around and walk back in and then something's going to happen. But I don't even want to walk out here because of that big hand that just came through the window. And plus the music's telling me that something's probably getting ready to happen. Okay, no tree spirit out here. All right, so far so good. I don't think this might be the first time that I've ever been happy to not make progress. Locked in. And now the door is off its hinges and halfway boarded up. <sighs> okay. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. 
more yarn. something static or wind or the ocean don't know what it is got some candles candles in the crawl space and yarn of course something Overhead, something just ran in the floor overhead. The candles look tiny. Looks like the, a full size door at the end of a half size hallway. Look, it's an Effer coffee copy machine, Effer brand. Like, I know how to work on Effer. I know how to work on an Effer brand copy machine. If it's not working, if you can't get it to work, kick that Effer. Okay, so we seem to be in yet another new area. We're not in the old wooden house anymore. Please listen. When you've done unkind things to others, either to family or friends, and you badly hurt those who are kind to you, and you commit crimes, and you cause others disturbances, the karma will be facing you when you pass away. Once the karma is done with you, you'll be reborn as a ghost drawn in wonder to all the places you were once seen, lost in the eternal limbo. All of you may be aware of the screams which can be heard in the distance at nightfall, the sound made by a creature with a mouth as small as a pinhole, unable to feast, unable to go, wandering around aimlessly and hungrily, full of pain, as it is being tortured. The moral here is not to cause anybody pain or hardship, because that is where you'll end up. Once the wheel of karma has turned, what you do comes to bite you. It goes around, comes around. So that guy does not paint a pretty picture. Fear tactics. Use to enforce a belief system. Well, couldn't he tell the story of what happens when the karma wheel rolls the other way? For good people. How they will be rewarded for not being cruel. For not asking for a refund for this game and for not pirating media on the internet you will be rewarded that's the door I came through that's that effort I saw before 
This is just a false door. All right, well. The purpose of this area was to introduce me to the concept of karma. Maybe the person who I'm playing in this game has done something bad. This is karma catching up with him. There's another one of those efforts right there. Let's see if I can go downstairs. I certainly can. But does it lead anywhere? It most certainly does not. Alright. Well, honestly, I'm just glad that I'm not in that old wooden house anymore with that tree spirit. That thing scared the crap out of me. What is that? Did you hear that? Oh, man. Something tore this place up pretty good. I'd like to be able to read these bulletin boards to try to discern what kind of facility I'm in, but I do not read Thai. So we just... Fuck me. Don't look like a tree spirit to me. Holy shit. I gotta get past this thing? Oh man, I'm just out of reach for him. I guess I gotta wait until it moves the other way. How did I get over here? Crap. And that thing looks real and it's right in your face too. I guess I have to go while his head's turned like that. And that thing looks real. Look at that. Oh crap, it got me. I couldn't help but get a look. Alright folks, I'm going to cut it here. We've been going a while. Uh, and as I had hoped, this thing actually is picking up and getting a lot better man that scared me i don't get scared very often these things i might get a little raise in my pulse but uh man nothing like that well done developers yes they're they're well yes this is good it's scary Anyway, what did you think about it? Did it look like something that you might like to play? Or did it look like something that might make you leave a deuce in your pants? 
Let me know in the comments down below, and if you've made it this far, thank you. I appreciate you hanging out and experiencing this with me. If you like what you see here, you know what to do. Just click the like button. Be sure to subscribe and do not forget the notification bell. So we will be back tomorrow. It will be another day and we will be in another game. I will see you then. Thanks for hanging out. See you later.